All right, play a little bit of this. So this is the worst part of this game: is every time my characters, every time I die or or like load the game, uh, my other characters come back to life. So I have to kill them off. Um, for those of you that don't know what uh, Canic Only Run is, uh, Canic is the weakest. The Prince of Canic is the weakest character in all of pretty much any JRPG of all time. Um, and I am doing a playthrough of Dragon Quest II using only Canic. Um, so, let's kill Frostburn. So I have to let these guys die off. Mi uh, Middenhall and Moonbrook. I have to let them die off before I can finish the battle. So they don't get any EXP. You can tell I've been using Canic only because... Um, look at look at uh, Canic's level. That's who's named Dookie. And Finny is Moonbrook. I have to use the first character until I get Canic, which is why he's level 6. And hopefully these guys kill Finny soon. There we go. Perfect. So I used to grind out here, but I would get absolutely fucked up and die a lot. Um, just last I, last night or the night before, I found a better place to grind. So I used to have to like play very strategically when I was grinding out here, because a lot of these enemies have one hit one hit kill moves. Um, but we can avoid that by going back into the cave to Roan. The worst place in all of Dragon Quest 2. The worst place in all of Dragon Quest, I must say. The entire franchise is the cave to Roan. Okay, these guys can one-hit kill me. Um, but there's al also an off chance that I can one-hit kill them. Okay, I got one of them. So the plan is eventually... To actually do a Canic only run in the uh, NES version of this game, which is the hardest version of the game. Which is, oh no, these, these guys could kill me. These guys could kill me. This is the move that one hit kills. Okay, they used it twice. Bunch of assholes. I'm going to try and run. Okay, good. That's why I don't grind out there anymore. Because <laughs> those guys can just show up, kill me, and then I've wasted so much time. But this is where I want to be grinding. We got green Daggerons all over the place. If we get three green Daggerons, that is our best. If we can get if we can get three green Daggerons, then we get the most EXP for our time. But this is essentially where I grind now. It's right here. I'm level 47. The uh, level cap... If I can kill the liquid, I've never killed a liquid metal slime in this game, but I, I always try. Oh, I got a crit! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! I'm glad I'm streaming for that. I usually grind offline, man. I've, I've been in this cave grinding for like a while, and I've, I've encountered like six of those guys. Never killed one. Never in my life. So now we killed one. We're going to get like... 10,000 or 100,000 EXP here. Yeah, 10,000. Fuck yeah, dude. These guys are the only, like, super annoying guys. They can put you to sleep. But as long as there's not a Hunter Mech or a Green Dragon, Green Daggeron, uh, partner partnered with them, um... I'm completely safe because they can't they can't really kill me if they, they can but it would take forever and I'd wake up before they did it but if there's like a hunter mech or something like that uh, partnered with one of them I will fucking die because I'll, I'll stay asleep and the hunter mech will just keep picking me apart uh, sorry killing machine they're called in this game there's so many different translations of the Dragon Quest games there's like there's like three I think official translations so this game, this is the Switch version, um, which is essentially just a port of the mobile version, unfortunately. Uh, but the uh, the Super uh, Super Famicom version and the NES version, uh, the Super Famicom version is the best version of all the Dragon Quest games, like one through three, by far the best. For here we go. This is what we want. 
We get the most EXP from these guys. And it's essentially just grinding, man. That's that's all I fucking do in this game. Once I get to level 50... Oh so yeah, so I was going to say, in the uh, NES version, I think Kanik's level cap is, uh, is uh, 45. So when I hit level 45, I thought that was it. I thought we would go and do the final uh, castle or whatever. Um, and then I got spanked. And then I went to go save. And when you save, it tells you how much EXP until the next level. And so it did that. And if you're at the max level, it won't tell you that. And it did that. And then I looked it up. And apparently, um, the level cap in the Switch version is actually level 50. So, so we still have a ways to go. So on the, on the bright side, we're going to be a lot stronger than we normally would be going into the castle. Uh, but on the downside, it's going to take a lot longer uh, to get to level 50 than it would have to get to level 45. Kill a green dragon. I like how these Berserkers kind of look like the hero from Dragon Quest 3. Like, they've got the headband, and their ar their armor is just, like, different colored than the hero. I always thought that was kind of cool. I mean, they, they existed before the hero from 3, so I guess the hero from 3 is based off of them, which is kind of weird. Silvopithecus, like I said earlier, can absolutely fuck my life up. As can this combination. Not anymore, they can't. They can't touch this. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. But yeah, guys, I'm so excited to start Police Knots. Police Knots is apparently only like 12 to 15 hours. But uh, as I've said many times, I am the dumb. But I think with your guys' help, we can, uh, we can solve the mysteries of... Pol pol police space? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what it's about. I have no idea what it's about, but apparently it's very similar to uh, Snatcher. So the only downside is I don't have like a light gun. Snatcher was best played on the Sega CD because you actually had the Sega Justifier. Um, and your gun, you always have your gun with you. You have your controller in one hand and your gun next to you. And the start button on the Justifier is actually the safety. And you can actually get like punished if you take if you turn off the safety in a situation where you shouldn't be using your gun. But then when shit goes down, you have to make sure to turn the safety off. Um, so you can like start blowing snatchers and shit away. Game is so fucking good, dude. I bought a Sega CD literally just so I could play that game. Maybe someday I'll stream it, but the problem is. I always want to stream on, like, on, like, my PlayStation Classic, so it'd be, like, emulating it, because the quality is, is way better, like, it upscales everything into HD, um, but the problem is I would want to play that on, like, the same experience as before, like, with the Sega Justifier and all that, so we would play it on the, uh, shit, this is bad, we would play it on the Sega CD, um, so the, it wouldn't be as crisp. But it, it, it'll still be good. I guess the only other downside is that I am missing a um, one of the capacitors on my Sega CD Blue. So instead of replacing it, because I don't know how to like solder, I just clipped the capacitor out and twisted the wires and then, <laughs> and then put like tin foil on it. <laughs> so, uh... There's always a chance that my Sega CD is one day going to overheat and just start on fire. That is that is a definitely a, a possibility. <laughs> but hey, if it's going to happen, it might as well happen on stream, right? Snatcher is another game where like the ending totally sets up a sequel. So maybe that's what Police Knots is, but I don't think so. I think it it's mo most uh described as the spiritual successor not an actual successor easy to easy to you can fix that easy to solder 
Well, I mean, they're saying our country is gonna be uh, pretty much fully open. At least my province is gonna be fully opened up by the end of July. So, I mean, just buy your plane ticket, I guess. <laughs> I need to get the. Uh, I need to get the. I think it's a fuse or a capacitor. I need to get that. I need to get that, and then I can do it. Apparently, it's like a common issue with the Sega CD that capacitor or fuse just blows. How's it going tonight, uh, Grabs? I just beat. Um, I just beat Skies of Arcadia for the first time, like just a few minutes ago. Can't get a passport for another two years. Damn. Are you, are you young? Or why can't you get a passport? Been playing the Kingdom Hearts series. I'm not a big fan of the Kingdom Hearts series, but um, uh, which the second one was really fun. The first one was like stupid easy because you could just roll dodge literally everything. I think that was the first one. Okay, let's see if we can get. I loved it, man. I absolutely loved Skies of Arcadia. I was sweating bullets pretty much the last like three quarters of the stream. Because you got like three back-to-back -back final boss fights. Alright, so up until this stream, I never killed a liquid metal slime. And then as soon as I started streaming it, I killed the first one I saw. So let's hope... Okay. I kind of figured that was going to happen. You're on Kingdom Hearts 2 now? Okay, I won't say anything, but it gets... The, the, the fighting gets pretty fun in that one, I thought. Um, and then, and then they started just, like, shitting out Kingdom Hearts games on, like, every single console. You've played them all but Kingdom Hearts 3. I heard the third one was kind of crap, so I never got it. But I also heard you kind of need to play all the other ones. In order to, like, fully comprehend it. And I don't really want to do that either, so. <laughs> it's funny, because, like, you hear a lot of people... Oh, you picked up, like, the bundle... Yeah, the, the the Skies of Arcadia, good vibes coming to Dragon Quest. That's why I beat the uh, the Liquid Metal Slime. Totally, man. It's like a reward for beating that game. That game was actually pretty tough, I must say. You're on game three of seven. Like, fuck. Yeah, from what I heard, there's one more good game in the series, and then they kind of all go to shit after the next one. Whichever one has Aqua in it is supposed to be good. It'd be cool if they did the sequel. Yeah. Like, they, they, it's, they don't set it up so it needs a sequel, but it could definitely, uh, it could definitely have one. I feel like. Birth by Sleep, is that the one with Aqua? I didn't even know who Aqua was until, like, last year. <laughs> there isn't going to be one. Hold on, I'm getting, like, fucking email pop-ups, so I can't read. Okay, there we go. Isn't going to be one. Vice and Ica show up as a cameo in another game. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles. That's a game I could stream sometime, but that one's really hard. Like, Valkyria Chronicles is incredibly hard. It's essentially if you took Final Fantasy Tactics, but made it like a third-person uh, shooter. It's really cool. I, I do enjoy it, but it's incredibly hard. Alright, see ya, Grabs. Thanks for stopping by, dude. I won't be on much longer here. I just figured I'd do some uh, mechanic grinding to celebrate the, uh, the uh, Skies of Arcadia beat. Oh, they're attacking first. That's not good. But yeah, normally I have to like st strategize in every fight when I'm grinding. Um, cuz of all the enemies that can one hit kill me and the special I need to like buff myself in order to not die. But now that I decided to just come into the cave to roan and fight, yeah, I'm getting less EXP per kill, but the amount of times I was just dying, like sometimes I would I would respawn and have to kill off my party members, right? Cuz it's Kanek only. And then I'd get like maybe one fight in, get a little bit of EXP, and then die, and then have to do that all over again. So, despite getting less EXP in the cave to Roan, 
it's definitely the fucking place to grind. Okay, this is bad. We might die. When our first death is when we will uh, call the stream. Unless unless we don't die for like a really fucking long time. <laughs> You've beaten Valkyria Chronicles twice, but you followed a walkthrough exactly both times. Still working your way through four. I, I kind of want to play like that whole series because they do look like I really enjoyed my time with it, but it was really fucking hard. And I'm not good at like strategy games, like even like like tactical RPGs, which is essentially what it is. It's like a third person tactical RPG, which is cool as shit. But yeah, it's just really fucking hard, man. I've got to... I got past the one battle where that chick has that long, like, drill spear. Mm, you get better as you play, and it becomes easy. Have you... You've played through it, Curse? Okay, we gotta kill the killing machine. Two is available. Yeah, two is on the PSP. I know that. The thing is... The PSP, I have I have the ability to hook my PSP up to my TV. So that's not a problem at all. 3 was never localized, though. That's weird. Considering, I think 4 is on, like, PS4, isn't it? I think you can get 4 on the Switch as well. Berserker. Post comic, yeah, he's playing. Uh, is he still playing that Mega Man Rock and Roll? What is that? Oh, he better fucking start Legends. He promised me that during Mega May he's gonna play finally play Mega Man Legends. That son of a bitch. Okay, we're getting three Daggerons, which is good. Or was on PS4 and Switch. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know how close I am to leveling up, but it's probably not very close. Yeah, dude. Mega Man Legends is so fucking good. That's, like, Skies of Arcadia to me. Uh-oh. They got first attack. Okay. Kasap sucks, but not as bad as sleep, surprisingly. Um, let's kill him. Hopefully survive the turn. And then heal. And then possibly kabuff. Okay. I should go first, though, right? Yeah, we're good. We might end, uh, end up in a health race here, which is not good. Um, kabuff. We might die here, but that's alright. Imagine this, but every single battle. That's how I was grinding before. That's how I used to grind in this game. Isn't uh, 47 max? Uh, not in the in the Switch version. They upped everyone's uh, max level to 50. Welcome, Calamari. How's it going, dude? We beat uh, Skies of Arcadia. Just like maybe 10 minutes ago. Maybe less than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, Skies of Arcadia reminded me of, like, Dragon Quest crossed with Mega Man Legends. It was so good, man. So fucking good. The final, the final boss rush, like, the three final boss fight scenario thing really was absolutely fucking terrifying. Um, it was pretty tough. It was not an easy win, for sure. But... Um, definitely the airship battle I felt was easier than, um, than the two, like, regular boss fights. But they were hard. They were all fucking tough. Went the whole game without using half the skills or items. Yeah, this, this is true. I, I started using items in the final boss fight. <laughs> It was really good. It's definitely, um, man, it might be my favorite Dreamcast game. I don't know. I don't know if I can say that because I really like Sonic Adventure. Um, 
But it's probably it's probably my favorite Dreamcast game. I'm trying to think what else what would top that. It's ah man, I don't know Drupal. I've played so many fucking JRPGs. I don't know if I could call it top 10. I'd, it's probably top 20 though, definitely in the top 20 somewhere. I don't know, that's really hard. That's really hard to to choose top 10 JRPGs. Or even like RPGs, I mean, the top 10 RPGs would all be JRPGs, so. <laughs> I could do like a top five WRPGs because I've only played I've only played like I don't know maybe like seven of them I'm trying to think of like the WRPGs I played what's a canic so uh, in Dragon Quest 2 um, there's only three characters because it's like one of the first three JRPGs ever made it was the first Dragon Quest game where there was more than one character and they decided to make the second character the shittiest character in JRPG history. So, a Kanek only run. Uh, so, the second character is called the Prince of Kanek. Uh, the name is randomly generated based on what you give, what you name your character in the original NES version. Um, and so, yeah, Kanek is the second character. He's the Prince of Kanek, so everybody just calls him Kanek. Um, AKA Dookie in this game. So I had to play through the entire game using only Kanek. Well, once I got Kanek, as you can see, Middenhall, player one, is he got to level six because you have to use Middenhall until you get Kanek. Somebody did mention, I guess I could try running from every single battle before I get Kanek, but I don't think that's possible. It might be. It's possible in the NES version. It is possible in the NES version. Um, and I am going to do that in the NES version when I, when I beat this one. Because you can do a glitch that uh, removes all random encounters until the, until the next time you turn the game off. So I will be able to have all the other characters at level 1, which will be pretty effing cool. But I did want to try and beat it on the Switch version first, because this is the easiest version of the game. Unfortunately, it's still incredibly hard <laughs> doing it with only the Prince of Kanek. So I gotta hit the uh, level cap, which is level 50 before I can try the final dungeon. I have tried it at the old level cap, which I believe was 45 or 47. I think I tried it at 45. And I got spanked by like regular mobs. So hopefully I can do it. One person that I know of has done it. I did a lot of digging in order to find it, but a Japanese guy did it in on the uh, Japanese version of the NES, like the, the Famicom version of the game. He did do it. Um, he definitely used glitches. No crazy glitches, though. He just used the... There's a sort of destruction glitch um, that makes it... Uh, you can attack twice. I can't remember how to do it. You can attack twice with the sort of destruction. Um, and you don't get the negative effects of the sort of destruction. There's something you can do or something you can equip that negates the negative effects. Because sort of destruction is the most powerful sword in the game. But it... I think it, like... I can't remember what it does. It, like, kills you, I think, every step if to have it equipped. And you can't equip it. You have to go to, like, a church because it's cursed. You can't unequip it. Um, we all know Xenogears is your favorite. Hell no, brother. For a guy who makes top ten videos in his free time, you sure sound uncertain on that one. Sumaltria. What's that mean? Uh, oh, man, that sounds difficult. It'd be like doing a Terry only run in Lisa. I've never, I think I have heard of Lisa actually, but I don't know. Uh, I've never played it. Does Malroth spam full heal in the Switch version still? I think that's only the NES one, but we'll find out, I guess. Uh, in first place, I bet your favorite JRPG is Seventh Saga. Honestly, if you fix the issues with like the grind, like there's issues that game has. If you fix them, it would probably be like a decent JRPG. I think somebody has made like a patch like a fan patch that does fix the issues of that game um because there's some like cool shit in that game but yeah it's it's rough as fuck lisa's pretty good but uh funny but real dark richard kanik is called the prince of Sumatra in japan oh really 
I did not know that. So then, I guess I would be the only one who did a canic only run. If I do it. <laughs> Fix the random battles and impossible enemy scaling with your level? Yes. I think that's what he did, yeah. Let's try to hit the next level or die. One of those things. We'll end the stream when one of those things happens. Gotta kill the Tyrannodactyl. I do hate the multiple fucking translations because... I think that guy's called like a Chili Dawn or some, some shit in one of the translations. Because he's the ice breathing uh, guy, I think. Ice breathing Tyrann Pterodactyl guy. Pterodactyl Mang. Do a Skies of Arcadia new game. Is there new game plus? Just play through the game again. <laughs> Before you go, just play through the game again. New game plus. Dragon Quest Eight. Yeah, that's kind of where it all started. Yeah. But some of them still don't have official translations. Like Blazemore. Blazemore is is doesn't really directly. Uh, Translate to any of the new abilities, does it? Or is... Do you like Star Wars? Knights of the Old Republic is a good WRPG. I played a bit of the second one. Oh, right. I was going to tell you which which uh, WRPGs I played. I think it's faster to say Western out loud than it is to say W, by the way. Should be Kefrizzle. Because Hurt and Hurt More are Blaze and Blaze More, are they not? What do I have? Oh, I, it won't tell me my uh, offensive spells outside of battle. Infernos was changed to Woosh. Oh, really? Okay, what do I have? I have um, Fizzle, Sizzle, Sizz. Okay, yeah, that is Blaze More. Because he uses Blaze More in... Uh, in the Super Famicom version, I believe. Or is it Infermore? What the fuck was Infermore and stuff? I don't remember what that was. Oh, those are the wind ones. Right, Infernos uh, was wind. Yeah, it turned into whoosh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good night. All right, sounds good, Drupal. I'll see you on Saturday afternoon for some police knots. Police cacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And first notes and all that is whoosh. Okay. Um, yeah, Western RPGs, though. The only ones I really played... I played Fable. I remember liking Fable. Um, fuck, I haven't played a lot, man. Uh, Fallout 3. I never beat it, though. I played, I played the shit out of it, but I never finished it. Um... There's a game called Crimson Crusader on the Sega Saturn. I think that would be a WRPG. It, it plays similar to like the old Fallout games. Oh, Shadowrun. Is that a Western RPG? Shadowrun on the Genesis? Never beat that one either though. See, that's why, that's why I can't play WRPGs. Because I can't finish them. I get so sidetracked. Doing, doing like the infinite fucking side quests in those in in Western RPGs that I just like I can't play them. Fable was the I might be the only Western RPG I ever finished. What are some other like super common ones that I might have played? I'm trying to think like ah. Uh... I guess it depends what you consider an RPG, too. Like, I don't know. Maybe some people would consider Uncharted an RPG. I would not. Diablo, I played... I played the first Diablo on PS1 a little bit. Like, at, at somebody's house. And it was really bad. <laughs> no, I'm not saying Diablo was really bad. I'm saying Diablo on the PS1 is really bad. That's what I'm saying. Warcraft. That's not a, really an RPG, though, is it? That's Isn't that a... Uh, what, what would it be called? Like a real-time strategy game. I 
think. I just about hit evac. That was sucked ass. Plant? No, I've never even heard of that one. I'm trying to think. Is is RuneScape a Western RPG? I think it is, because it was like a board game. Is what it originally was. System Shock. Oh, I played Bioshock, if that counts. I don't know if that really counts as an RPG. Deus Ex. I have played Deus Ex. I never got very far in it, though. Have played that one. Fuck, I might have only beaten Fable. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's, like, any... Any over there that I, like, actually played through and beat. It might just be Fable. But yeah, I did play a little bit of Deus Ex. Yeah, like I said, I played, um... I don't know if it's Bioware, I guess. Oh! Oh, no. I played Mass Effect, and I loved it, but I never finished that one either. Witcher 3 is something that I will play eventually, but goddamn. Apparently, it's, like, really fucking long. But I will... I am going to play that eventually. Maybe I'll make that one a follower goal. Maybe that'll be the next follower goal. Uh, played but did not complete Mass Effect 1. Okay. The only reason I didn't complete Mass Effect 2 was because the load times on the PS3 were atrocious. Like, I'm not even joking. You could actually make a sandwich in the other room, come back, and still have to wait for it to load. Just from, like, changing floors on the ship. It was that fucking bad. It was... It's the worst load times I've ever experienced. And I played, like, fucking... X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. <laughs> on floppy disk. You're playing Last of Us 2? I never played the second one. I really liked the first one. Didn't really see why it needed a sequel, so... That's why I never played that one. That's the same reason I never played Uncharted 3. I felt like Uncharted 3 was like the perfect ending uh, to Uncharted, but I don't know. Maybe eventually I'll play Uncharted 3. I don't like the fact that you play as like the villain for like half of Unch uh, of uh, Last of Us 2. So I don't think I'll ever play Last of Us 2, but maybe I could be convinced to play Uncharted 3. I heard the the chick there's like a the chick uncharted. I heard that one was really good too. But again, I feel like it was, they were just like you know, milking the shit out of it. I heard XCOM's like really hard. And it's like I heard it's like Final Fantasy Tactics but incredibly hard. So I've never played it. I watched um, a friend of mine play XCOM 2 and it looked incredibly difficult. So I don't know if I would ever play that cuz I'm not good at like tactical games to begin with if you're not used to it like the only tactical tactical games I ever got decently far in while well, I beat Final Fantasy Tactics and I got really far in uh, um, the, the Night of Lotus it's like a tactics ogre game it's really good Lost Legacy, that's the one. The ch the chick one. Yeah. I don't know. I heard they were good, I think. But to me, Uncharted... There was no reason to, like, continue that story after Uncharted 3. I thought Uncharted 3 was, like, the perfect place to end it. Because cause Naughty Dog, they would always release 3 on a console. And then on the next console, they'd start a new, a new franchise. And then they just kind of stopped doing that after the PS3. They were like, hey, let's just remaster the same game four times and then make a sequel of it for some reason. So I wasn't, like, big on that. I, I kind of wanted something new from them. Because uh, PS1 had Crash Bandicoot. Uh, PS2 had Jack and Daxter. And so on. PS3 had Uncharted, obviously. I remember when Uncharted was first announced in the, uh, the Uncharted, Uncharted was first announced in PlayStation Magazine, 
and it just showed screenshots of like certain things of like the uh, the jungly grassy areas and I was so hyped I thought we were getting a new uh, a next gen pitfall game that's 100% what I thought it was because they didn't have a name it didn't have it it was like untitled fucking PS3 pro naughty dog project or something like that and I legit I was like oh my god there's gonna be a fucking pitfall game on PS3 and that's kind of what it is I guess but yeah that's I thought it was gonna be pitfall I also thought Dragon Quest XI was going to be um, the origin story of the Dragon Lord. Strictly because, A, there were rumors going around that that was going to be what it was. And B, um, the main character's cloak is purple, the same color as the Dragon Lord's robe from Dragon Quest I. So, the dumbest theory ever, but at least I wasn't alone in thinking it. Um, Uncharted 2 and 4 are the best in your opinion. Lost Legacy and 3 are second... And third, well, the first one is worse. I actually... Okay, now I'm kind of interested in four. Because I also thought Uncharted 2 was the best one. And then I thought three was the second best. And then one being the worst. But I still really enjoyed one. Not that it's a bad game. But yeah, it's the worst the worst in the series that I played. Yeah, I might actually... Man, that game comes on sale so often too. Uncharted 4. So, uh, what takes place when? Like, it, does Lost Legacy take place between 3 and 4? Or is it like 4 and then Lost Legacy? Or how, how does that work? I probably should have killed the killing machine first, because those guys could have put me to sleep. Made my day fucking miserable. Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, I don't think we're gonna level up on stream. Keep in mind, we're like, we're like three levels away from the, the level cap. So, let's go save. If we go to save and the guy's like, Dookie has 500 experience points to level up, then we'll do it. But, Lost Legacy is like six months after four. Okay, so play four first and then Lost Legacy. And then Uncharted, the Lost Levels. Who do you play as in Lost Legacy? Is it like, cause there's like, is it Elaine and that other chick? Like his ex-girlfriend chick? Is that who you play as? Something like that, isn't it? But yeah, does it, is it common that people think Uncharted 2 was the best one? Or is it just me and you, baby? Cause I've always, yeah, I've always thought Uncharted 2 was the best and then three and then one. So for you, would it go 2, then 4, then Lost Legacy, then 3? Err, what? Chloe is her name. Oh. That's like his ex-girlfriend, right? Okay, we gotta use Kabuff. So this is what I mean. When I was grinding out here, I had to constantly use Kabuff. Now they can't hurt me, but they can crit, which will still kill me. Thankfully, I have the Falcon Sword on. Yeah, if you're wondering why I'm attacking twice, it's because I have the Falcon Sword. Apparently, with the Sword of Destruction, even though the uh, Metal Slimes and such have um, max defense, apparently with the Sword of Destruction, you can uh, do 6 damage by attacking them regularly um, if you're max level. I've never tried it though. I've just read it online. I don't know if it's even real. Okay. Okay, so it revives my dudes every time, unfortunately, but. Yeah, I s see, this is how many experience points I still need. I killed the liquid metal slime and grinded for half an hour. This is why I haven't been able to finish this game, because it takes forever to, to level up. But we will save. So two, then four, then Lost Legacy, then three, then one. Oh, okay. That kind of makes me wanna wanna play it. 
All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming out. I hope you enjoyed uh, Skies of Arcadia. I hope you enjoyed um, uh, Dragon Quest II Canic Only Grind for a little bit here. Like I said, I'll be back Saturday afternoon. We're going to start. Um, we're going to start Police Knots. And then Saturday night, uh, my buddy Mike and I are going to be doing a podcast. Um, we're talking about gaming peripherals. Um, I think it was Oigle brought it up in the Discord. Uh, requested that topic um, So yeah, we'll be talking about gaming peripherals I'm gonna try and dig out all the ones I have and then we can kind of talk about those as well as talk about other ones that we used to have and stuff like that I am going to raid uh, Kame Senen Two and four can be switched. Oh, they're both fairly equally good So if you guys aren't in the discord um, join the discord We're also doing a watch party Saturday night after the podcast. We're gonna be watching uh, the first couple episodes of Cowboy Bebop, so check that shit out. And, uh, yeah, you guys have a great rest of your week. I'll catch up with you fine fucks on Saturday. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out. Shu, thank you for all your help with Skies of Arcadia, man. You've been an amazing help. You've helped me so much in that game. I appreciate the hell out of it. Have a good one, guys. See you Saturday.